right, and Demittens is going to be using the Canopta Court. He has 1990 points. He has three units of heavy destroyers, all with the big Goss cannons, a Doomsday Arc, two Doomstalkers, a Void Dragon, two squads of Ophidian Destroyers, a squad of Scarabs, and we'll check the Stormlord. He's just going to stay standing by himself just for farming CP. We have Orc and the Diviner, and he is with, or the Diviner, or wherever he is. Ten Lich Guard with the Void Slice, so he doesn't have to worry about the involve because he has the character with it. Ten Immortals with the Plasmancer. And that is his list. This is the list I'm going to be using against Demittens for our competitive BMF match for the BMF belt, just uh, to get your name on the belt. It's something I kind of made up, just made it at home. I'll, maybe sometime I'll get a better one. So you bring like a competitive army. Win, name on the belt. So I'm bringing the custodies. I get 2,000 points here, and I have I have this. I went over the list and this custodies overview too. I did a video I did, but I'll go over it here. So I have the custodian guard. I have five of those. Only one of the spear, rest of shields, and one of the axilla. With uh, Kyria Draxus and is the leader, and that's why I have so many shields just to keep her alive because she is such a weapon with shooting which is something the custodians kind of lack unless you bring your terminators i have trajan i like his moment shackle and all that fun stuff you can do with that and he is with five wardens just to keep him alive five terminators with the terminator captain and he has the ceaseless hunter enhancement that's just so that i can move six inches if someone gets close to me or i think it's only you move the movement so you move the five inches so you move five inches if someone gets close with a nine and you can fall back and charge on you five more terminators the catalyst assassin five prosecutors and instead of the usual venetari that i bring so I'm, I'm bringing this making sure this is all kind of gw non forge worlds then you will have four more custodian guard three with spears three with spears uh, one with the vexilla just for the oc and i have four prosecutors and that's the list it's 2000 points Let's take it from the shelf to the tabletop and see if I can keep these Necrons from getting the mittens on the belt. And we're going to do Take and Hold with Minefields with a Dawn of... Uh, nope, a... Hammer and Anvil deployment. Yes, there we go. On to the deployment roll. Roll for a deployment. Uh, you can deploy it first. Well, actually, I guess you can pick the corner. I will pick this side. So my custodies, I deployed a lot of them here back behind this wall to hopefully stop from a Alpha Strike of death. Same with Trajan and his Wardens. He deployed behind this wall. Prosecutor's here. Cal is stopping any Deep Strikes. And I don't know if he had any kind of shenanigans for that or not. The group of four Guard and Deep Strike and the Terminator Squad with the Captain and Deep Strike as well. Necrons have deployed right on the line pretty much. We have the Immortals here with the Scarabs. The Lich Guard, the Void Dragon, a lot of firepower on this side. The Doomsday Arc, two of the Scorpic Destroyer thingies. The, the Locust, heavy Locust, three of those. And then another three sitting here with his two Canoptic Doom Stalkers. And then, yeah, so that's our deployment. And we forgot that this unit had the enhancement for stealth, so it uh, no infiltrate into the middle objective here. We're going to find out who gets first turn here. The one. Mmm, Necron, first turn. Okay, okay.
the Immortals. So they advanced up the board to get some shots onto this big old group here. The Lich Guard advanced with a minefield with a six, so they took a mortal wound onto the middle objective. Void Dragon kind of scuttled out to get some shots, mostly going on, on this group as well. Scarabs scuttled up onto this objective. These heavy destroyers moved out here to get a bead onto this unit here. These guys are just kind of sitting here as well. Doomsday Arc moved over just a little bit to the left, and the Stalkers are ready to shoot some stuff my way as well. That's the Necron movement. Let's see what happens in the shooting phase. I think I'm going to take some casualties here. So the Immortals, with their firepower, took two wounds off the Terminators, and I do believe his little Mortal Wounds ability. So the Plasmancer took off a wound as well. But the Doomsday Arc popped off super hard. It killed four of my Custodian Guards. So I only have one guy with Misericordia and just uh, Inquisitor Draxus left. That's pretty much it. Everything mm -hmm. else kind of wasn't able to get any shots. Oh yes, and my three sisters were also nuked because he had to split fire. So three of the sisters were also destroyed just by dead wounds from these fellows. So luckily, he didn't roll that good against the Terminators, or I would have probably lost a Terminator too with all those deadly wounds that he could do. So we're going to move on to Custody's turn one and see what happens. All right, for my movement phase, I didn't do too much. I have to be pretty cautious here. So I just kind of shifted the Terminators out to get a charge onto these Immortals. But then he used the Stratagem. So if anyone gets close to a Canoptic unit, he can move away six inches. So that's what he did. My Inquisitor just moved up a little bit. I used in the command phase, I brought back a Custodian Guard. I was going to move up here. I got him advanced. So I'm even going to 11. I wouldn't be able to get onto this objective. And I, he just has too much stuff up here that... Even with my four feel no pain, minus one damage, I would take a beating. So I'm going to see if I can maybe lure him onto the objective instead. We'll see what happens. Put my focus into these immortals because these are dangerous. All right, on to my shooting phase. So my turn, I just use the Inquisitor to take out the immortals. I didn't have to use the once per game shoot twice, and plus there was nothing to shoot at after that. The Plasmids was left. I was able to use the Terminator Spears to take him out. Shot all the grenade launchers into this Lich Guard unit and was able to kill one Lich Guard. So he'll be back next turn. And that would be the end of my turn. I'm discarding Storm Hostile Objective just because I don't think I can get onto these anytime soon. But I will score Assassinate for the Plasmancer. The end of Necron's yep. turn two shooting. He shot everything he had into these Terminators, but I used popped a CP for minus one damage and they were in. Got a lot of their saves, so I was able to only lose two of them. I also rapid ingress these Terminators to hopefully get a charge onto these Ophidian Destroyers next turn. What happens for Custodes turn two, and see if I can get him off some of these objectives, because right now Necrons are on all the objectives except for my home field. Oh, and the Necrons could extend battle lines. Right now the points are 10 to 17 for the Necrons going into Custodes turn two, so the bottom of turn two. For my turn two cards, I got Tempting Target and Capture Enemy Outpost. Ooh. Come at me, bro. Which one do you want to be the tempting target? Uh, middle. Middle. All right, the middle is the tempting target. So for my movement, I just shuffled the Inquisitor over here to get some shots onto these Scarabs. And then Demittens, when I moved up with my Terminators, he used his stratagem to move away six inches. It gave me tempting target, but it also allowed him to get away from my shots from the Inquisitor. That I would have popped that Custodian shoot twice once per battle, and I probably would have softened them up enough from the charge, and the, charge and the Terminators would have probably killed them. So it was pretty smart for him to move them away. I moved Trajan up here to get some sh uh, charges onto those Ophidian Destroyers, hopefully. These Terminator just moved ahead to also get some charges, hopefully, on those Ophidian Destroyers. Hopefully I can clear out the Scarabs with the Inquisitor. The sister moved inside this building. I forgot again to pick this idiot up. I always forget. She just sits there. She usually backs up and does nothing all game. These sisters kind of scurried up more behind, behind this wall so I don't get shot by all this firepower on the side here because there is a 
a lot of firepower. Last time I got lucky with these guys, they kind of tanked his entire shooting phase pretty much. So I made charges here. I made a seven inch charge onto these Ophidian destroyers, mopped them up pretty easy with the Terminators. And then Trajan made a 11 inch charge onto those Ophidian destroyers and got two of the sustain himself. I used sustained hits. He got eight hits altogether and took out the Ophidians just by himself. And I tried to charge the Void Dragon just to try to gum up the middle if I could have maybe got into here, but I failed that charge with a three. We're gonna go on to Necron's turn three. And I am going to discard capture enemy outpost, but I did achieve tempting target by taking the middle there. Capture enemy outpost. Behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines. Okay. That's turn three, Necron draw. Necrons, they shuffle the Doomstalkers over to get some shots onto the Terminators here on both sides. Heavy Destroyers moved up to get some shots on these Terminators. Heavy Destroyers moved up to get some shots on the Wardens. The Lich Guard moved over looking like they're probably going to charge my Wardens and Trajan. I rapid ingressed these four Custodian Guard, the last ones I'd left, to hopefully charge these next turn and get rid of these things because these are devastating. Void Dragon moved onto the middle and let's see what the Necron shooting brings. All right, so the shooting phase was pretty deadly. I took a lot of my Terminators over here. I should have kind of had them behind the ruins instead of actually inside of it. But you live, you learn, and same with the Wardens. They took a little bit of beating, but these Terminators in the middle are still alive. So let's hope next turn we can clear out some more of these objectives. Eventually, I think I'm going to get tabled, and hopefully I can get ahead of the points and it won't matter. Let's see what the Custodes draw for turn three. Bring it down. Behind enemy lines. Let's see. I think I can get that one. So I think I might be able to get two of them. Maybe. So let's see what happens going into my turn three. So the end of the turn, the shooting pretty much bounced. I shot all the Void Dragon. It didn't, I think I did maybe two wounds. And then I charged in with the, against those Heavy Destroyers with those Custodian Guard that I had Rapid Ingressed. Killed, uh -oh. Killed those uh, Heavy Destroyers. I took out the rest of the Lich Guard. The Void Dragon killed one of the Terminators who had failed Battleshock. And one of these Terminators also got killed in an Overwatch. I captured behind enemy lines with my Assassin over here. But I will throw away, bring it down. Because it's going to take another turn or two. Or the game might be over before I can kill this stinking Void Dragon. So we're going on to the turn four for Necrons. And the points are 33 to 27 for the Custodes. The shooting and the melee, the Necrons were able to clear out the center. I think it was just the shooting. I don't think just they the Yeah, just the shooting because there's nothing for him to charge. So he was able to take out the Terminators in the middle, my shield captain. He hit the shield captain. His shield captain was down to five wounds. He hit him with two Debbie wounds from the Doomsday arc. So that put an end to end to him. Killed two of my Wardens off with these Heavy Destroyers. Tried to kill my hero of an assassin who actually remembered to use this game in two shots with the Dupa Stalker, and I saved both of them. So let's see what happens. This one's sticky. I stickied that from one CP last turn before I moved this way. I don't know if I said that in my phase or not, but that one's sticky. Running out of units, but so is the Necron. So the points are 35 to 33 for the Necrons going into turn four for the Custodes. Cards, cleanse and engage in all fronts. Uh, we'll see about that. So for my movement, I just moved these Custodian Guard up here to get a charge onto the Void Dragon. I stickied this objective with Trace's unit, moving them ahead to get a charge, and just keep on pressing his units back so he can't take these sticky objectives. Moved out the Inquisitor to try to kill this Void Dragon. No one needs Battle Shock. Well, the sister does. She's good, but still, she's been just hiding there doing nothing all game, so Battle Shock wouldn't have made a difference. So that's my movement, pretty quick movement. 
and we'll come back after the shooting and the melee just because she's getting down to the last few movements here so i was able to kill the heavy destroyers over here the void dragon i brought the void dragon down to one health and then he killed three of my guard i still have these fellows back here so i should be able to hopefully kill him maybe on turn five a sticky that objective in this objective For turn five, he got engage in all fronts and cleanse. Gross! Cleanse me, no, maybe. He can probably get onto this objective and cleanse this one with the Doom Stalker. <laughs> and then Demitten passed the Battle Shock and Levin on the Void Dragon, which is big, so he'll get that objective, getting him an extra five points. All right, so I've lost a lot of my units. So I lost the custodian guard in the middle. All the wardens are dead. It's just Trajee by himself. He took his first wound. I think that's the first time he's taken a wound from the mittens here. The sister's still alive. This squad is still alive, these sisters. But that's all I have left a lot is these sisters and those few units left. So we're going to see what the, my cards are. But I think either way, I'm going to win by about five points. I do believe. Did you get engaged? What ones are you to engage in? Uh, engage and... Uh, cleanse, yes. And so he cleansed over here for three points. And at the end of the Necron's turn five, it's 45 to 51 for the custodies. Turn five, I picked up overwhelming force and secure no man's land. With that sticky objective, I'll get two points for that. I'm not moving anyone. I don't want to get overwatched. At the end of our game, it is 63 to 48, a very close game. I think this is our closest game yet. Like he yes. had me pretty much boarded. He didn't have a lot of units left either, but it, usually it's kind of, I've, I've been able to hit a lot of my units by the end of the game. I still have quite a bit left, but he did work this game. So I'm going to have to be careful. These Necrons seem to have my number possibly. So that was a fun game. Thanks for stopping by to Mittens. Thanks for the, all the, the trash talk and the laughs. <laughs> All right, everyone, and thanks for stopping by.